Hello, in this tutorial I want to talk to you about the buttons and the callback functions. Ok, let's get started. First of all, as always, initialize the GTK, so give the arguments what is it wants, so make it happy. Although we don't give any parameters, so I think that it cannot do anything with it. Uh, maybe that's how it get the title. <laughs> ok, and then uh, create a few variables. So GTK widget, as I said, almost anything is a GTK widget in GTK. Ok, we need a, a window which will contain the actual window and we need a button. For now I just use two widgets because you can add only one widget to the, uh, to the window. Later we can uh, do it with the uh, boxes and tables so we can actually put uh, it items which can hold multiple things so yeah okay for now we just use one widget all right uh, first of all create the window as always gtk window new and gtk window top level okay simple enough we created a new window which is a top level window so uh, like that uh, this is a top level window okay uh, you almost always have to put the top level window now create the button there is a little bit change about the generic function uh, uh, things that we uh, used earlier so gtk button uh, new it would be it so yeah, it would be the new button, although it would create a completely empty button with nothing in it. So yeah, you have to manually add to this container, because a boot button is a container, as I said earlier, to a label. And yeah, we don't want to do that right now, we just want to keep it simple, uh, but because the button has a very big usage of just uh, be the label we use the gtk button new with label okay this will automatically put that uh, label to the button so we have to just add so we have to just add what name do we want so for example click me okay and then uh, use the signal connect to the window for now and later I will show you how to use the button for the button click event actually just the click event for now because there are a lot of events I just want to show you now the basic events so win window the delete event okay and we want the G callback, so we actually cast it to a callback function. GTK main quit. Oh, and we pass null to it because we don't want to give any parameters to it. Uh, now we will today we wish uh, uh, see what actually a callback function and have to create it. Okay, and now. Uh, yeah, just add this button to the window so we can see GTK uh, container add and we use the GTK container casting container casting to the window actually but we could use that the button too because the button can be casted as a container okay later we can add images like that to a window uh, to a button uh, and labels and images okay and we want to add the button to it okay now I'll just show all the widgets so widget show all and uh, put the window because that's the top level and I want to show the window and anything under it okay and gtk main okay I hope I didn't forget anything now we can try to compile it okay 
oh, that's a point, not a comma, as it should be. Okay, and now I think we can uh, compile it, yeah. So just a little mistype, and oh, it's a little hard to move because, yeah, it is so small. Okay. E. Oh, make it a little bigger. As you can see, the but button will be a little bigger. That's not always a good thing. So later we will uh, solve it with uh, but uh, boxes. So uh, we can click it, but uh, yeah, nothing happens actually. Click, 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 click. Nothing. Okay. Uh, for that we use a callback function, which which the GTK will call whenever we click the function. The name of the callback function is uh, click. Click the. Okay. So create a new G signal connect function. G signal connect and use the button because that's what we want to examine. So uh, to the clicked event. Okay, the clicked event is happen whenever you click it, obvious, right? And we call a function which we will create. So, g callback and uh, call it the button clicked. Uh, we will uh, make this function in a moment and we pass for now just a new parameter. Okay. We can make this function right here in up the top, uh, so we don't have to use prototypes, you know. Okay, we make the we make it static. It is a very ordinary way of doing uh, a callback function. The static function is almost the same as the ch uh, static variable, so it can be seen only this file. Although it would work without it, but uh, you know. Uh, every programmer do it uh, in this way in case of GTK, so uh, uh, don't uh, use another technique than other programmers. So, static, uh, so as I said, it will be a static function, it's same as static variable, okay, and then the return type, obviously, so uh, we uh, put void because we don't want to return, right? And then the name, this will be the button clicked okay and it requires a uh, two parameter although we pass no parameters to it there are some automatic parameters that will be uh, put in here oh by the way we use a function pointer in this case so uh, yeah g callback use a function pointer all right uh, first of all gtk widget Okay, call it widget. Uh, that is, uh, what uh, what widget does the hap uh, was the what widget does the uh, event occurred? In this case, it will al always give the GTK button. So actually, we could write the GTK button here, but I don't want to confuse you. Now the GTK widget is perfect. So uh, whenever I click the button, so yeah uh, the button uh, clicked then i call the button clicked function so this this is a callback function this will be called whenever the button is clicked okay so we created th this uh, uh, and we need a second parameter this is the g pointer oh pointer uh, and the name of it will be i don't know data for example okay uh, this is whatever we passed here. We don't pass anything here, so actually it is empty. Okay, the GTK widget is will be always the button in this case, although later if we uh, make more buttons and uh, so we make more buttons, uh, then and we uh, put or oh, and we call back uh, this function with all of the buttons then obviously it will be different in any button okay 
and now I'll just make the function uh, the uh, we just write some message to the terminal window so we use a function called uh, gprint we can use the gprint similarly to the printf function okay by the way we doesn't include we didn't include the glib uh, library we can use the functions of it like gsignalConnect and gprint because the gtk uh, because the, the gtk.h is actually included for us okay and we press what do we want to write out uh, and by the way if we include the io stream we could use the count i think so okay but that is the ordinary way of doing things okay we press the button well actually we uh, write out that button is pressed okay i think it is a passive sentence am i right okay and actually make a new line after it all right okay this will be just uh, write out messages into the terminal right here uh, by the way if it's this here i think we can uh, uh, compile it yeah we can compile it so run it and uh, and whenever i click the button it's right out the button is clicked as you can see later of course when a button is clicked we uh, create a dialogue or change some text or i don't know we do something for example exit the program and actually we can do that by change the callback function to the gtk main quit uh, whenever we click the button it will exit the program and uh, not call this function so exit the program when a button is clicked so gtk main quit and uh, and call the mm, button to exit all right so okay this is smaller than it was the before a moment so now nah, okay so uh, whenever i c will click the exit it will exit from the program uh, i will not do it again okay uh, by the way if we are here i just want to talk you a few uh, more functions about uh, the window 